Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be adding a comments section to my blog and using some of the other advanced blogging features within EverWeb. First, I'll load up my blog here in the editor and the preview window by selecting it from the index. Now before I set up the comments section, I'm actually going to make a couple of adjustments to my blog posts first, as a couple of things caught my eye that I didn't like. I'll click on Preview from the toolbar and see what the blog looks like in my browser. And I see that these links that have been visited are in yellow. That might work on a black background, but obviously not here. So I'm going to go to the Inspector, Widget Settings tab. And if I don't see anything here, it's because I don't have my blog post widget selected. So I'll go to my preview area and click on the widget. And now I've got access to these advanced settings. So I'll go ahead and click on the color to bring up my color panel and select a new color for visited links. And I'll change the hover over link from red to green. I'll click preview again. And I see that it's looking a lot better now. If I want to hide the navigation links from the bottom of my post, I can find this setting from the Inspector Widget Settings tab. I can also choose to only hide the Blog Index link, which takes me back to my main blog page from the Widget Settings tab. I'll elect to show all of those links, but I'm going to change the name Index to Blog Home to make it more clear where my visitor will go when they select this option. And I'm also going to change the font of these navigation links. Remember, changes I make here apply to every blog post. I also need to make a few tweaks to my main index page, or what I just renamed as Blog Home, which has a list of all my posts. To do so, I'll navigate to that page by selecting it from the web page list. I'll click on the widget in the preview area to access my widget options. And I'm going to use these sliders to increase the blog post preview text shown on this page to 350 characters, or I can just type in 350 into the text box next to the slider. I'll have it display up to 5 posts, and I'm going to decrease the thumbnail size to 75 pixels. I will also put the thumbnail images on the right, and I can adjust the space between the posts from the slider underneath. And of course, I can make the same adjustments I want to my archive page by selecting it in the web page list and adjusting those same options from the inspector.